Flavor comes to you today with Cooking with Aaron. This week's recipe is chicken tacos with your host, Aaron Chanel. Bienvenidos and welcome to Cooking with Aaron. I'm not much of a cook, but I do like to make chicken tacos every now and then. It's pretty easy. Uh, come home after work and uh, whip it up within an hour or two, you know, a little preparation. So uh, I'm your host, Aaron, and let's get started here. Okay, first thing, let's go over ingredients. I have some cooked chicken already because um, I can't cook it here, but I have raw chicken, uh, tortillas, corn and flour, whatever you fancy, and um, some limes, cut up limes, cheese, and then some spices, salt, pepper, uh, taco seasoning, <clears throat> and Tony's, because you can't go wrong with Tony's at all. So let's uh, prepare this chicken here. So what I do is, <clears throat> I'm not much of a cook, so I don't usually marinate it. I just uh, pretty much thaw it out, and uh, I just thaw it out, put it in here, and <clears throat> take, my, take my spices here. Let me go ahead and get this, because it'll make a mess. And this is the foolproof Aaron way of measuring. It goes. Just dump a little bit of that. Dump a little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. Now well, a lot more salt. And then some taco seasoning. Most of this cooks out anyways, so it's not really a big deal if you put too much. Um, <clears throat> so now flip it over. Same thing. The Tony's, <clears throat> pepper, some salt, <clears throat> and some taco seasoning. Put these. <clears throat> All right. Then what you'll do, or what I do, I usually cook in the oven because it's pretty easy. Uh, you can grill it, and it's probably better grilled. But like I said, this is a quick and easy way to make it. Um, you're gonna use vegetable oil, <clears throat> and you're gonna just spray down both sides, spray down your pan and you're gonna put your chicken in the oven about 350 uh, for about 30 to 40 minutes. I'm not a very good at time and I usually put it for 35 and I just always check it. So you'll have your chicken cooking. We're gonna put that over there out of the way and we've gotta prepare our sides. So when I make tortillas, or I don't make them, when I use tortillas, I use corn but you have your skillet going, put your skillet on like low, medium, take your vegetable oil and let me grab a paper plate here. <clears throat> take them pretty much, spray it down like that, boom, get the other side and then do that the rest of the way on the rest of all your tortillas like that. Then you'll put them on, put them on the skillet, and uh, they'll start bubbling up a little bit. Um, just kind of cook it for a little bit, flip it over, <clears throat> repeat, and then you come out with nice um, flour tortillas. So <clears throat> that is that. So you'll have those going too while you're cooking chicken. And then you gotta make your sides. <clears throat> so fresh limes, a must makes the tacos a little bit better. You're gonna take your knife here. <clears throat> way I chop up a lime, if I don't cut my finger first, um, I slice off the ends, because that's what Chili's does in my drinks. So they must do it right. Then you're gonna take it, slice it down the middle, then take it, this. All right. And we'll finish cutting up this lime and get back at it as soon as we come back with a word from our sponsors. With the hustle and bustle of life, sleep sometimes gets put on the back burner. Hey Seth, you look tired. Try out one of these new energy drinks. It's Kickstart Cola. Kickstart Cola is a new energy drink with 100% all natural ingredients. Try Kickstart Cola today and get the healthy kick you need to get through your day. 
cutting up this lime. So take it, cut up your lime here. Okay, like so. Put these, this is like for salsa and chips, but I didn't go that far. Talk, making tacos is hard enough. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna put this cooked chicken in the microwave so that it'll be ready here in just a few seconds. All marinated chicken, it's good to go. <clears throat> Let's see, stick this in here. All right, <clears throat> while that's going, Let's clear this all off and we're going to go ahead and cut up cilantro. So what you're gonna do is take some cilantro, a little bit. Let me check this. Yeah, that's pretty hot. Let's see if it's hot on the inside. No, not quite. Stick it back in there. Warm it up for another second. And most people just take their cilantro, they put it all together, and they just chop it right there. Well, I don't like the stems of the cilantro, so I just take some, pretty much, and pick it off. Um, and before you do that, you're going to want to actually wash it off because uh, when you buy it in the grocery store, <clears throat> it's not in a package or anything, it's just bundled up. So, uh, so just wash it off and then take it and dry it really well. Because if you don't dry it and you try to, try to cut it up, it sticks together and then when you try to put it on a taco, it just doesn't work very well. So you take all this right here. Got some cilantro there. <clears throat> all right, then I'll take it put it all in a big pile, take your knife, you can use uh, like scissors too if you use like kitchen scissors, but <clears throat> I don't use scissors, and you just pretty much go back and forth, chops up cilantro as fine as you want it, like that. Okay, now let's put this over here, <clears throat> right there like that. So we got some cilantro, got some limes, get some cheese ready. <clears throat> Stick that over here, a little bit of cheese. Okay, get our chicken. <clears throat> and then, like I said, you'll cook your chicken, get it out. You can cut it up before as well, but I just wait till after. And uh, you can cut it up as fine as you want. I cut it up about like that. Nothing too special. Um, then go back. There's probably a professional way to do this, but I don't know it. Like I said, I don't really cook a whole lot. Then. Put it all up. Okay. Finish chopping it up a little bit. Okay. And you can make shredded chicken tacos as well, um, but that's definitely a lot of work because you have to like hand shred the chicken. But you've got everything all together now. <clears throat> so let me take. These are corn tortillas that I've already prepared. So let me stick them in the microwave and I ran out of paper plates. That's okay, because it's, it's all mixing together anyways. Stick these in here for just a few seconds. And they warm up pretty quick. So, well, when we get back, we're going to, next week, we're gonna finish this up. So thank you again.